it's time for week five. And it's time for a new work of literature and, in some ways, a new worldview. Now, when this course was in initially designed, the idea was to show a pre-Christian worldview and a Christian worldview. And as I have taught this course, I have come to understand that going too far back sometimes is very difficult for students who haven't had a lot of literature courses. And we did talk about Greek myths and we've talked plenty about the Greek worldview and the origins of literature. But what you need to know is that there is a Christian worldview and there is a non-Christian worldview. And that is maybe most pressing for all of us in this modern world. And so the, the last two weeks of this course, I should say the last three weeks, the last two weeks where we are reading will be spent uh, focusing on The Great Gatsby. This is a classic of modernist literature. And it, it's a book that does have hints of Christianity, but it is a very different kind of world that is uh, being presented to us. And I look forward to discussing this with you. Don't forget that your motif will continue into this new book. And so if your motif has something to do with food, look for every case where people are eating something together. Look for the significance of it. Look for you know, what it is doing to them or what it is not doing for them. And uh, so this week we are reading chapters one to five and you'll see that this is basically a unit. It's almost like the first act of a, of a two act play. And so we'll do uh, chapters one to five. We have a quiz on Friday, on, excuse me, on Thursday. Uh, you have to have your discussion board, board postings on Wednesday. And then on Friday, you need to do the third close reading assignment. So you're zooming in, you're putting a passage from The Great Gatsby under the microscope. And we will be doing this next week as well. So be ready for that. Uh, then on Saturday night, because this is week five, it's actually time for you to revise the body of your culpa again. By Saturday night, you will have three close reading analysis assignments that you've done. And two of them are from The Pilgrim's Progress and one from The Great Gatsby. And so you actually can start making those important comparisons. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be talking to you all the way through about thinking about in our world, what comes from a Christian worldview and what comes from a non-Christian worldview. I think we see it every day in our media in just everything that happens around us. So uh, don't forget that you have your revision of your body, which is due on Saturday night, and it should be longer. It should be significantly longer than the first time around so that you're going to get to the finish line of having eight full pages for your culpa. If you have questions, I'll be with you in this journey. And I uh, hope you enjoy Gatsby's Quest. God bless you.